What's up, everybody? It is 2019. This is Easy Street Gaming. Well, this is actually easy. Bringing you the first Brutal Age video of 2019. This is on the buff and debuffs. I get a ton of questions about these. So I want to go over it. First thing, cover cover some of the technical stuff first video of the year. Then we're going to get back to our regular partner guide. We're just going to go right down the list that they have. I found a partner for every single one, pretty much. I, I, I couldn't find, I think, one or two that... They probably add and they just never put a partner in there. <laughs> the first one is from the Demon Killer. It's the Attack Enhance and the Defense en Enhance. Whenever you see the Attack en Enhance and Defense en Enhance, Attack is 50%. The Defense is 70%. And that's just an added to the actual Attack that you already do or the Defense. Uh, the Speed Enhance. Sis Violence has, has the Speed Enhance in her Staggering Blow. And that is a 30%... Uh, additional speed to whatever her speed count already is and if you look in the bottom right hand of the screen you'll see the frequency that I've seen these um, the, the buffs or the debuffs I didn't have any real numbers to go by just kind of the feel of them most of them are very rare anyway up next is the the dispel buff it's done by long face and the soul drain array it's to remove any existing buff from either one enemy or the entire team and that's based on the user a lot of these are also based on the user so they may I'm not gonna give the actual stats that they give because it changes from user to user okay up next is the green berserker does the the March North which is the critical rate enhance and the critical rate enhance is a 30% chance added to the critical rate attack of a partner or the entire team and I believe that's another uh, buff that can change from from either the single partner or the entire team depending on who's using it okay blue colonel has the battle pioneer and she uses the enduring healing and that's a that's 15% uh, of the mat max health points added each round and I think I've seen two and three rounds um, the frequency of this is common this there's several different uh, partners that use this and I had a little scale in the next couple of frames so you guys can see kind of what I'm going by Next is Red Colonel. She used the immunity, and the immunity is a. Uh, that means that no debuff will take effect, but it will not remove any existing uh, debuffs, which is a, this is a, another rare. So immunity is debuffs will not have an effect. That doesn't mean that she's immune to uh, regular blows, right? Also, if you notice quickly on the left side of the screen, we're lightening up whether or not it's a buff or a debuff, just to, just to make sure everyone knows. Um, up next is the Jello. Red Jello has the Acid Armor, which has the Invincibility. Uh, invincibility is he will suffer no damage at all. So that's no damage, which is a, a lot different than uh, the, the last one was that was just immune to the buffs. Uh, Blue Catfish Fighter, he's got the Catfish ven Vengeance. It has the damage reflect. It reflects 30% of damage received by an attack, uh, received back to the attacker. So if the uh, attacker does 100 damage, 30% 30, 30 of that or 30 would go right back to him. This is, a, this is a very rare, I don't know of anyone else, maybe one other partner that does that. I can't, I could name him right now. <laughs> so, drum beater. Another rare, this is another rare, although I can think of a couple maybe that has the shield. What a shield is technically is it will absorb a specific amount of damage and that will vary based on the amount of health that the uh, the shield giver has. So that's the shield is based on the person that's giving the shield, not necessarily the person that has a shield. Up next, blue daggers with mysterious guest which has unyielding. We've all seen this this skill here. This means that he can never go below one hit health point while he has unyielding on. Which, that basically means that he's invincible as soon as he gets down to one, one health point. And if anyone notices, yes, I'm actually even trying to say the health point right. I call it hit point, which is from another game. <laughs> okay, so green jello has Nirvana. Nirvana is revived with 30% of the health points after death. And most of the time, Nirvana is a skill that's given to, it's a buff that's given to you from another uh, teammate. Here's a more common, uh, this is a debuff called Blind. And what this does is it 
there's a chance to, uh, it changes the chance to deflect down to 50% and it also forces the partner that is blind to do 30% less damage so if they're blind they do 50% they have a 50% less chance to deflect and 30% less damage okay up next is a uh, probably didn't expect to see this partner with it but it's a counterattack which it has a specific percentage chance which changes per user to return an attack on any partner that does attack uh, and it does not count as the actual turn for the partner so they still go in their normal turn but whoever attacks them they have a specific percentage of chan chance to attack back with that with that one the green um, boar was like 20 percent with the with the red nomad it's like 50 percent okay uh, little green flower couldn't believe how strong of a debuff this is it reduces the attack lowers uh, reduce attack is lowers attack by 50 percent reduce defense is lower defense by 70 percent which this is that that's actually just the opposite of the enhanced of the attack and enhanced defense which is still the same 50 and 70 percent green desert prince does a machete sand machete sandstorm which that has the slow debuff which reduces speed by 30 percent and I'm still trying to figure out what the difference is between reducing speed by 30% and reducing the action bar by 30% because I, I'm thinking they're almost the same thing but I'm going to figure that out someday so kind of an old tradition that I want to try to bring back this year easiest tip of the day things that you may not know why three factors that are happening but many of us don't even notice it there's certain things that go on during every attack one is deflection while the deflection is going on there's 30 percent less damage and you can't debuff a partner that has that's in the deflection mode so you'll see deflection pop up um, over over a partner's head while they're getting attacked that's what that means two is critical rate this is one that we all we've all heard of critical rate because of the the actual skill but this is it starts off at 15 percent and then to trigger the critical attack it's a it's 50% added damage so if they do end up uh, scoring a critical rate attack it's 50% extra damage next one is bash this is one that we saw with the the bape uh, when attacking a partner that already is restrained bash could take effect and that's 30% extra damage so I did not know that which I don't know half the things I put in my videos because I have to look them up <laughs> So for the longest search of the whole entire video was finding who the hell had inertia That would, that would be the green bird shaman She has the the judge holy hawk which has the inertia ability which removes the ability for an, an enemy partner to receive buffs and So that's inertia removing the ability for an enemy to receive buffs uh, This is this is actually a, a much more powerful debuff than I thought it's it's called taunt and what happens taunt is the enemy can only attack with their first skill and they can only attack the person who has taunted them so if you manipulate your army just right or your, your partners just right um, and for in this case it's bone fist that does a taunt they have to attack bone fist and they can only use the first skill up next is sleep and another one that I didn't know the exact rules cannot attack until they are woken up and they are woken up by being attacked and if you look in the left hand side of the screen we are now part of the patreon family uh, we're, we're gonna have more information as we finish out um, doing all the stuff we have to do for patreon which means that the videos are gonna be a little more involved and we're gonna have a lot more information for anyone that wants to be part of that okay poison this is another green demon killer uh, poisons are it's, it's a rare I only found like four or five that have it, but there's probably more than that. Uh, poison adds 5% of, uh, of the defender's max hit points as damage every round that the poison is uh, happening, running through their veins. All right, green board is the push up, which is which has a stun effect. Uh, stun is the defender can take no actions while they're stunned. But unlike sleep, where nothing happens until they're woken up, with stun. Their passive skills are still in effect. I'm going to go into what passive skills are a little later. You've noticed that the green uh, uh, catfish will still give the shield even though it's stunned. That's because that's his passive skill. Uh, 
Okay, Bloodthirsty Warman has the Bloody Curse. That's the, the Healing Forbidden. Um, no one can be healed or recover he health points by any means. Not from the self or teammates while Healing Forbidden is in effect. So, sad day for them. Next we have, we have Blue Ursula. The Huntress. One of the strongest partners that I've had and haven't used. She has the Fierce Strike. It adds 25% damage for a specific number of rounds. Which that's injury. Now, I don't have Wound. I was going to try to let it slide and see if no one saw it. But Wound, I can't find the information on it. And I was just gonna make it up, but I figured you'd bust me on that. <laughs> okay, uh, Red Daggers has ancient power, which has amnesia, and amnesia means that you, they cannot trigger any passive skills. And this is going kind of back to what we were talking about earlier with the passive skills. So I want to get into what a passive skill is a little more, because I think I, I think a lot of people would like to know. Um, the passive skills are best um, you're gonna find them in the third slot and a passive skill is a skill that's always in effect and does not have a CD and with the CD is how long you have to wait to use it again uh, that and that that will limit the number of times that they can use it in battle and um, like I was saying it's usually the third skill and it's uh, you'll know it's a passive skill something that they always have at uh, the CD means that uh, you have to have to wait three or four rounds to use it again you know that if they're not using a CD on it, then it's a passive skill and certain things affect passive skills differently. Um, Green Marksman has the silence in her fatal arrow. It prevents any skill with the CD from being used during during any round that the partner is silenced. And that does not affect the, pa the passive skill. So getting back into your regular skill and passive skills once again. Red Little Ghost from the Blessing from Beyond. I believe Blue has the same one too. It has the he has the revive he I don't even know what it, it has revive and let's bring a, ba a partner back from the defeated state in back into the battle and their their health points will change depending on the level of revive that they that they give them going back to the bloodthirsty war maiden red she has the bloody curse which ha which what that does is it invalidates a buff and that removes the effects of the enemy buff while allowing the existence of the buff to remain and this is actually helpful because some of your teammates some of your partners actually do more damage if there's a bunch of buffs on the on the enemy partners so this will make it to where they can't use their buff but they'll still have credit for it so they can be affected by some of those other skills that punish them more for having buffs last one this one by faster than I thought is freeze from the blue god of earth it inflicts frozen on a partner, which is the same as stun, except stun, some passive skills are still in effect with frozen. There are no passive skills in effect. They are frozen. They are little uh, brutal popsicles. That is the end of the video. My time is up. Uh, like every video, uh, Zerk and Blonde are coming up at the end. Hope you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel, everyone. We're going to try to make this the best year ever for Easy Street Gaming and for everyone that likes Brutal Age. I enjoyed it. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.